All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Caleb, and today uh, I'm starting something a little bit new. Uh, I've kind of done this in the past before, but this is like my first time doing it by myself, I guess. I'm starting a podcast. This is called Pops in the Morning. Uh, who knows if this will actually get uploaded during the mornings? Uh, I don't even know that much. But right now, I'm kind of just sitting in my room. I have a mic. I have a computer. So I decided, hey, let's just give this another shot. If you've been following me for like the last year and a half or so, you know that I used to do a podcast last year with one of my friends, Bailey Stanfield. Uh, It was called We're Just Talking, where the two of us would just meet up, sit in his car, and we would just chat for like 40 minutes or so. Uh, I'm not sure if this this podcast is going to be 40 minutes long, just because of the fact that I don't have a co-host or like guest on right now. So it'll probably end up being like a good like 20 minutes, maybe, if I can draw out everything that i want to say for that long but i think for this first episode i'm going to try to keep it a little bit shorter Uh, i have a few things lined up that i want to talk about if you're wondering why sometimes i sound like i'm like not as loud it's because i have the computer that i'm recording into sitting behind me so i will just occasionally turn around and look at it and make sure that my levels are good and that I'm not peaking or anything. I'm not showing that I'm peaking right now, which is good. Uh, this mic does have a tendency to peak every now and then, but uh, right now it's not, which is good. But yeah, this is Pops in the Morning, uh, a talk show where, well, not really a talk show, more of a podcast. But it's a show where I'm just going to kind of just shoot the breeze and just talk about everything on my mind. I feel like this is a good outlet to do that. And... I mean, I've done it before, so why not do it again? Recently, I've been listening to a lot of podcasts. Uh, I think my favorite two are both featuring Nate Shot. If you don't know who he is, he used to be a Call of Duty uh, pro. He, him at, well, okay. So he has two different shows. He has the Courage and Nate Shot show, where him and Courage, uh, Jack Dunlop, uh, another professional video game player, I guess you could call him. Uh, the two of them just kind of talk. They have guests on to kind of talk about the lives and the scenes of people and where they've done. They've done episodes with, like, the people who have won, like, the Fortnite World Cup or whatever. And then he also has one called Self Made with Nate Shot, which is where he gets a bunch of, like, business people on. And they kind of just talk about, like, their upcoming. And I think that's pretty cool. So listening to those has kind of gotten me back interested in just just doing a podcast in general. So I decided, hey... I have thoughts. Why not share my thoughts? And I think that's that's a cool thing. So one of the things that I want to talk about is why I haven't really done YouTube that much in like the last year. I had an entire like little series that I recorded where I did a social media binge back when like Seek Discomfort and Yes Theory guys did it, uh, which was a really a while ago. And uh, I edited it and I just said, you know what? I don't think I can put this out. I don't know why I didn't put it out. I mean, it was a good series. I had um, I did like an actual like interview with some peop- with some of my friends. I thought it was really good, but the timing of it now to release it would be really bad because I recorded it back in like March or April. It was like right before Avengers Endgame came out. And one of my friends, Jordan West, him and I are both huge Marvel nerds. And like a majority of his answers were related to Avengers Endgame spoilers. So it kind of just wouldn't go with now, I guess, which really sucks. But I mean, that's okay. But uh, one thing I've been watching a lot on YouTube recently is like a bunch of like different vloggers. Like I've watched uh, Back to Nature. I've watched his vlogging. He, he, he has a lot of good stuff that I'm into. He does like the hype beast stuff. So like do she, uh, chic. He'll do like sneaker shopping or like sneaker unboxings. He'll do tech unboxings. Um, but these are like, two to three year old vlogs so it's like not the most up to date i watch casey neistat a lot and i love casey neistat i think that he's like one of the best youtubers he's really uh defined what it means to be a vlogger on youtube in 2019 almost 2020 wow um but yeah i've kind of just decided that maybe vlogging isn't for me because i have a camera i have a really good camera has the flip up screen so i could easily do it i have a tripod but at the same time everything that i'm like yo I'm going to take my camera to this, and I'm going to vlog the heck out of it. I'm going to make a dope video. Like, as I'm walking out the door, I'm like, but wait, I kind of just want to enjoy this. I don't want to have to put 
like worry about keeping up with the camera, turning the camera on, making sure things are running. And it kind of just, it ruins it for me, honestly. Because one of the things I hate the most is people who are on their phones during like concerts. Like it's cool if you want to send like a clip of a song to one of your friends. But when you are recording the entire stinking concert, I think that takes away a huge part of it. Because it means like you're there, you're seeing the person live. And it's like you're just going to stand there with your phone and watch it through your phone rather than watching it through your eyes. And I'm just like, this doesn't make sense. I'm not really following what's going on here. <laughs> so my thing with YouTube is like, I want to do it so much. And I think it will be really fun for me. And I have a lot of cool things that I go to and just events and whatnot. But at the same time, it's like, why would I want to ruin my experience in the now just to have a vlog and potentially get like 30, 40 views on it? I mean, it's like my channel isn't that big. I have like 200 something subscribers and it's like on average, I think if I were to upload, I would average like 15 to 30 views, maybe depending on how I clickbait it. If I clickbait it, ah, how long have I been going for? Dude, I'm only six minutes in. What the heck, brother? How is this only six minutes? Ah, uh, someone's someone's messing with me. Okay. I can keep going, though. I have more topics I can talk about. Uh, one thing that I mentioned with Nate Shot is he's into fashion. And recently, I've been getting more and more enveloped into sneaker culture and hype beast culture. I've always kind of liked Supreme. Um, I bought a hoodie and resold it last year, so that was fun. Um, the only reason I resold is because I realized, wait a second, I do not need a $165 hoodie. Like, a hoodie should not cost almost $200. Granted, I sold it for like $200, $250. So I wasn't that mad about it. But at the same time, it's like, um, what's going on here? Like, why am I paying this much? But one one designer that I've gotten really big into recently is actually an artist named Cause. Um, he did a collaboration with Uniqlo, which is like a really like I don't know I don't really know what it is. They got really cheap clothes though because he did a collaboration with them for like a bunch of shirts and hoodies and whatnot. And I got a I got like three shirts for like fifty bucks. I mean it's like that's like fifteen bucks a shirt. I mean like like these things are reselling for like twice that. Which I mean like woohoo you get fifteen bucks. But like when I buy it for fifteen and I have the potential to sell it for thirty double my money like this is gambling out here boys and girls like we are going to be making the fat stacks today but i didn't sell them i actually wear them i think they're really nice the the material that uniqlo uses is like really freaking nice and i don't know what it is exactly you know they have tags on them. i could just read the tags and figure that out but at the same time that takes away from like the joy of just being like oh, yeah this is a nice shirt uh, I've actually also bought in like in like th two pairs of like what could be considered like hype shoes uh, a while back by well, a while I probably mean like a month ago uh, what's his name Kyrie Irving and Nike did a collab with Spongebob which was really uh, sick they had like a shoe for Mr. Krabs uh, who else were there Squidward Patrick Spongebob and Sandy uh, three of them were Kyrie fives, which were like high tops, and I don't really like those. Otherwise, I would have definitely gotten the Patrick ones. They were like a bright pink top with like a a nice green sole on them. Uh, you can just look it up. Just type in Kyrie X SpongeBob, and I'm sure that they'll pop up for you there. But I ended up getting the Sandy Cheeks ones, which I was actually really excited about. They're really nice shoes. They're really comfortable, actually. I don't play basketball. And um, these shoes are like really big and bulky. And I kind of have like average size feet. But I actually have like really scrawny little chicken legs. So when I put them on, they kind of look weird. Especially when I have like skinny jeans on. Because then it's like my leg is like even more small. And then it's just boom. Look at this little like paddle of a foot. Like I'm about to go swimming in these boys. My foot is so big. But I also the other day just bought a pair of Ultra Boosts which were really sick, off of Stock X, And if you know anything about Adidas and Ultra Boost and whatnot, you know that a pair of Ultra Deuce, Ultra, Ultra Deuce, 
Ultra Boost retail for one eighty. Well, this specific pair that I got released this year back in like April, I think it said, and they were going for only eighty dollars. They're actually not bad. They have a, a like the basic black boot, not black boots, white boots with like a gray like actual like shoe part, and then like the cage on it has for the three stripes. They're lime green, which I think is actually really sick. It's my thing is that I like for my outfits to coordinate in colors. It's like something that I'll do is wear like my nice white shoes with like black jeans and then have like a white shirt with like black accents on it. And then my watch band for my Apple watch will also coordinate. And uh, it's just that lime green is so hard to match anything with, which uh, I don't know. I'm It's a struggle. Most of the time I just say screw it and I go with it. I mean, like sometimes I'm just like, I can't just say screw it. It's really hard. Also, it's got a jean jacket, which is something that a lot of my friends have been telling me that I need to have. Because in the like fall and winter, I love layering. So I do like a hoodie under like a Tory or a coach's jacket, which if you don't know what that is, is basically just like a windbreaker, but a little bit thicker. And I'll just put on a hoodie under that. And they're like, you really need a jean jacket. Like your, your aesthetic would be complete with a jean jacket. And I would just be like, oh, OK. But jean jackets are expensive, man. They're so stinking expensive. But but there's this guy on Instagram that I found. His Instagram is at Gearins underscore gear, I think. And he was selling it for like 15 bucks. And I said, oh, I'll take that. So it's a nice black jean jacket from Forever 21. I actually really like it. It fits me really well. And it's just, I, th- I think it's a nice jacket. If I, I enjoy it a lot. I like it. I'm excited for the winter to be able to wear it. It's a little bit too hot right now. Like yesterday was 96 degrees outside. And I was like, what the heck is going on? Because it was literally like just like low 80s the day before. But I mean, hey, I'm from Virginia. When you're from Virginia, that's the weather that you kind of just expect at some point. You don't really plan on like anything else coming out of it. One thing I've also been thinking about for this is I need a theme song. And if you've ever seen Community, you know, Troy and Abed had a morning talk show. And their jingle went, Troy and Abed in the morning. And I was like, ah, I could just steal that. Because I don't think there's a copyright on that. There can't be a copyright on that jingle. But if there is, then I'm probably going to get sued the heck out of. And I can't afford to get sued the heck out of. But... Because my name is, my name, my full name is Caleb Popple. So it could be Caleb Popple in the morning. Also, I'm not sure if these are actually all going to be in the morning. Okay. Um, I'm kind of an, in college, so my schedule can get a little busy. I do a lot of stuff for my church, such as playing in two different bands for them. I play in the main service band for band driven services and in the youth band just, just to kind of help out. But I mean, like... I'm not always going to have time to get make sure these are up in the morning. And, like, school gets in the way. And I'm just like, bro, if this has to be pops in the morning at night, then we're going to do pops in the morning at night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ooh, that probably peak. Did that peak? Did that peak computer? Computer. Computer, did that peak? I don't know. Dude, I've been going from, oh, I just nose bumped my mic. I've been going for, like, 13 minutes now of just talking by myself straight. <laughs> I've been staring out my window. So like the way that my room is set up is that I have a makeshift L shaped desk right here in the corner of my room where I'm recording. I have a gaming setup on one side facing out like the front of my house. And then on the other side, I have like where I would do homework typically. And that's where like my MacBook is. That's also where I have like, oh, that did peak earlier. Oops. But I have like my TV with my Switch on it, so that way, like, while I'm doing homework, I can just put like Hulu on because Hulu is on the Switch, but not Netflix, which I'm okay with because I actually prefer Hulu. Um, maybe I'll have guests on and we'll talk about that because you know Apple during their um, keynote this year just announced Apple TV Plus is going to be four ninety nine a month for the whole family, and after that, who was it? I think it was Netflix, Hulu, and Disney all saw like significant drops in their stock market value and i was just like um i don't know what y'all think but there is no freaking way that 
Apple TV Plus is going to take over Disney Plus? I'm sorry. Dude, as much stuff as Disney Plus is going to have on it, it's going to have originals. It's going to have a bunch of like Marvel Phase 4 stuff. It's going to have everything from your childhood on it. I'm sorry. Apple TV Plus just isn't going to cut it. They had like one show that looked good to me called C. But even that was like, bro, you're kind of pushing it. It just, I don't know. I'm very picky about my shows. Movies, though. Ah, I love movies. I could watch so many movies and like in one day just be okay with it. I watch bad movies and I just suck it up. Like recently, I was watching oh, one movie I did have to stop watching. It was called, I forgot what it was called. It was so bad. It was like this guy, this hypochondriac. I think that's what it's called. When you're like afraid that you're sick. Like you always think that there's something wrong with you. But yeah, he uh, he befriended this girl who had cancer. And then they become like best friends or whatever. And then they go on adventures. And I was just like, this is so bad. Has the guy, like the main guy from Sex Ed. And then one of the girls from Game of Thrones. I've never actually seen Game of Thrones. The only reason I know that she's on is because it was like in the description. It mentioned like uh, featuring this person from this and this person from this. And I was just like, oh, okay, that's cool. But it was so bad. I got like a quarter of the way through it. And I was sitting on my couch at the time and I just fell asleep. And when I woke up, I was like, oh, I, I guess and it was still going. And I was like, what? Like, I mean, granted, it was like late at night that I was watching this. So that probably didn't help my attention span either. I was like ready to go to sleep or whatever. But another movie I watched the other day that I haven't seen in a hot minute that I actually really love is The Matrix. Oh, it was so good. I forgot how good that movie is. Like Keanu Reeves in it. I'm kind of scared to rewatch the sequel and the and the third one though, because I just, I've, I I fear that it's not going to be as good as the first one, and it's going to be one of those cases where they made the first one and it should have just stopped there. Because ah, so many movies do that, they ruin themselves by making sequels. I'm just like, look, you don't. You, not, mm. Not every movie needs a sequel. I think that's something that Hollywood producers need to learn, something that they need to get their, their grasp on, something that they just need to make sure that they understand. Because if they just keep pushing out sequels or remakes of everything, people are going to get bored. They're going to just seek other forms of entertainment. I mean, it's dope that Disney is making live-action remakes of all their old movies. I think it's sick. I think that it could do good things for for their value but at the same time i think it's just them trying to get more money like in all honesty they're just trying to get money and that's all that that that's going down for but i don't know how long have i been going now how long is it how long is it i think it stopped recording oh no we're at, tw we're at 18 minutes so I said I want to get this to about 20 minutes. Uh, I'm using Adobe Audition to record this, and I've never actually used it to record before. I've used it to edit sound um, for my internship over the summer, and I didn't, I've didn't. i never recorded on it, so I wasn't sure where to check like the timestamps. But, I mean, hey, that's okay. Um, right now, this is audio only. I'm going to be trying to get it on uh, Spotify Podcast, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, Google Play, whatever the heck it's called. Um... I might also upload it to YouTube with just a graphic on it. I don't know though. Um, but yeah, this has been the first episode of Pops in the Morning. Uh, uh, I don't know how I feel about that name anymore. Um, I'll probably keep the name, honestly. But if not, then I will just make sure that there's a note on the show notes. I think that's what they call it. But yeah, I'll just do that. This has been the first episode of Pops in the Morning featuring your host, um, Caleb Popple, which is me. If you enjoyed this, make sure that you hit a like on YouTube. If you want listening to this on Apple Podcasts, leave a five star rating, and there's a 100% chance that if you do that, I actually I'm not gonna say that. There's a 75% chance, 75% chance that if you do leave a five star comment, I will go ahead and read it out on the next episode, which should hopefully be in like a week, week and a half. I'm not exactly sure yet. Um, but we're rounding up on 20 minutes. I think that's good. My mouth is starting to dry out. And um, I think I need to go get some water. That's all for me, you guys. My name is Caleb. I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you all in the next episode. And goodbye.